All right, everybody, welcome to our thumbnail making tutorial. We're gonna dive right in. Step one is just to record a video of yourself making really crazy thumbnail faces at the camera. So I'm gonna be making some funny faces, striking some poses, just uh, grab a few of those on a video, and then we're gonna go ahead and screenshot portions of that video. So we're gonna just scrub that video until we get to the exact moment where we're making the face we wanna make. And then I just tap the screen as soon as we find the moment, tap the screen, wait a second for the little line at the bottom to fade away if you're on iPhone, and then screenshot just like that. All right, now we're going to scrub to the next moment. All right, oh, making that face. You want to screenshot these moments that evoke emotion, right? These are what you want to use for your thumbnails. Here we're looking surprised and pointing over at something. All right, that'll be great for a thumbnail. I'm going to screenshot that. And perfect. Now we want to find our screenshots. So we're gonna zip over to the screenshots we just took. All right, let's click on the first one here. And if you just press and hold, this is on the iPhone, you can extract just the subject of the photo. We're gonna hit save image. All right, go into the next one, press and hold on the subject and then hit share and save image. And then we go to the next one, uh, same thing. Press and hold, oops, sometimes it glitches. All right, press and hold, hit share, and we're gonna save that image. All right, now we're ready to jump into Canva. So this is a little tutorial on how to throw a thumbnail together with Canva. We wanna create a new design, uh, search for YouTube thumbnail. I've got it at the bottom there, but if you haven't searched for it before, just type it in. And you can pick a template or start from scratch. We're gonna go off of a template. I like this blue one. All right, uh, now this guy, we gotta get rid of him and we're gonna replace him. So just touch him and tap replace at the bottom left. And we're looking for, how about the one where I'm grabbing my ears? All right, we're gonna make a thumbnail for the audio video, a video about how to improve your YouTube audio. So there I am. When you load in that image, give it just a second to kind of, yep, see it, it reshaped, resized and the white background disappeared. Now, if it's not all there, stretch the edges out like you saw I just did. And uh, the, the top might be cut off a little bit too, so make sure to extend that. Um, perfect, now we can see the whole image. And then just move it around until it's you know the right size and in the right location uh, for what you want. We do wanna keep our thumbnails more or less simple. So uh, not too many elements in the thumbnail. Uh, you want, you know, maybe yourself and then a couple pieces of text and that's about it. Um, see how I was behind some of these other layers. I'm, I'm moving myself up now uh, above those layers so that I stand out on top. Um, I might actually adjust that again in a second, but first uh, let's go ahead and let's color correct here. So. You gotta make it pop, you gotta make it stand out. Bright colors get attention, and attention grabbing thumbnails get clicks. So if your thumbnail's looking a little dingy or dull, um, make sure you're enhancing the colors and the brightness of the elements here. Um, we're gonna go through, tweak that brightness up, um, look at the contrast, really play around with these, and uh, don't be afraid to you know mess it up a little because you can always start over and you can always readjust, all right? Um, shadows and the whites and blacks, the vibrance, uh, the sharpness is one I like to kick up a little bit and it kind of looks a little unreal, but again, our, our goal is to grab attention. All right, so once you have those settings where we want, well, let's just tweak them a little bit further here. All right, slide this around, clarity, yeah, that's all right. Then yet we're not gonna mess with. All right, that looks pretty good I think so you know maybe a little more of an adjustment there all right that should do bright eye-catching blue shirt on a blue background I don't know might be all right doesn't really clash doesn't really pop but hey it, it's better than nothing this is just a quick and dirty tutorial all right see I had to kind of adjust the top there again now I I'm blocking the words so I think I want to fix that next um, you want to make sure you're in the right place with these layers. So grab what you want on top and drag it up. Just grab those little six dots to the left and you can wiggle that up until it's right where you want it. Um, don't forget the other elements there. I'm going to leave that black bar 
behind the word freelancer um, going behind me, so it's lower than me on the layers. Um, but we're gonna change these words uh, and then uh, also adjust the font and you know make them so it's a little bit easier to see. Very important that you consider how visible your thumbnail is when it is small, all right? I'm editing this on my phone because I want people to be able to see the thumbnail when they're on their phone. And it, it's gonna be even smaller than this when they're just scrolling through YouTube. So let's make these letters a little bit bigger and um, we're gonna put uh, kind of a white border. I like to center them there. And um, I, I like to put a white border behind them. So let's see, where are these settings? Here we go. Effects. And that one has a border, but it's gray. I don't like that. So tap it one more time. Then you can tap the color and we're gonna change the color to white. All right. Uh, and you got all these other colors you can choose from, but white really stands out with the black text. Now I'm just gonna crank that all the way up so the thickness of that white border is super thick. That's gonna be a little easier to spot, easier to see, made it larger, and kind of placed it where we want it. Let's uh, go ahead and change this a little bit here. All right, what do we want that to say? YouTube audio. Set up. All right, now those words are off to the side, so I'm gonna go in, uh, see set up. We're going to tap on this right here and adjust that to centered, and then we're just going to resize it and move it where we want it. Perfect, a little bit bigger. And now we're just gonna line this up center. See that little line that appears down the middle? Kind of tells you when things are locked in to uh, center with another object on the screen. I love that about Canva. Makes it really easy uh, to make things look, you know, a little bit more professional. Okay. And now you might see those lines pop up elsewhere and it's like centering with something else, but I want it centered with the word YouTube and audio. All right, so there we go. Make sure it's sized the way I want. And that looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna pop a little arrow in here too. So this is about audio. I wanna drop in an arrow that's pointing to the microphone. You can just resize this once you choose the object, resize it, rotate it, and drop it wherever you want. I could probably change the color too, but I think that white against the blue shirt is uh, visible enough. People will see what it is. And again, you don't want too many objects in your thumbnail. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this, just the way it is. All right, we're gonna go ahead and export that. So just hit download and it does this little thing. All right, and once it's done, it's saved to your camera roll. Now we can pull it up there and there is our final product. Y'all, we have a YouTube thumbnail. How does that look? Not too bad for quick and dirty in eight and a half minutes.